Hey everybody, Spoon here. Um, I ran out to get parts this morning for a job I'm doing. And I ended up picking up this Craftsman kit. Because um, I was looking for masonry bits. And they're in here. Um, so I was going to do, what I am doing, is I'm going to do a uh, comparison of the different kits that I picked up over the past couple of years. Um, screw tip kits. Drilling and driving sets is what Craftsman says on theirs. This wasn't too bad. It was 12 bucks. I've spent far more before. The one thing that really brought me to this, other than just getting the masonry bits I was after, is that uh, I like the case. And the case may end up not carrying bits anymore once I get finished with it. It won't become my primary case because the Makita is what I like best because it's small. And the Makita case has the tube that carries bits and it's small and it fits into my tool bag a lot easier. Let's see how this bad boy works. Oh, okay, cool. So that opens up there. Look at these plastic pieces. Oh, okay. That's cool. I didn't realize it did that. I like that a lot. Cool. That'll work. Um, and then there's the masonry bit. Which will be perfect for what I'm doing today. I don't need anything bigger than that. Or smaller. So, I do like how this this comes right out of it. I like that a lot. But, I have, I like keeping this one because it fits so well in my small tool bag that I use. This one, this cobalt, I bought this cobalt years ago. And, um, it sits on my workbench. And I just take things out of it as I need it when I'm working on my workbench. It's nice and handy for that. Um, but this this Craftsman's impressive. I, I do like it. I like the way it's set up. That coming out like that is a, really helpful. Now, do these... No, they don't raise. You just pull the pieces out. And they, stay, they stay flat. And these are an angle. I don't know if you really see that that well. But... These bits are at an angle all the time. They don't raise up, they don't go down. And that's pretty handy. And then this has a similar thing right here. And then these bits. I like it. Um, I like the case quite a bit. It looks like it's heavy duty. I it won't fit, it won't go in my tool bag because of the size. And I can do as much with my with my Makita, actually my Makita I already started modifying, putting things in that I want um, to make it do what I want it to do. Like a unibit, um, a countersink, an adapter for sockets. And then in the tube, which is really, this is probably the main reason, this is the main reason I bought this entire Makita kit is because of this tube. Because it saves so much space and I can keep all my drill bits in it. And all my drill bits are set up for impact in this one. Because impact is what I use the most when I'm out working. Um, and I have other kits elsewhere, I, all over the place actually. Because over the years... Ooh, I purchased DeWalt kits, whatever this is. I probably got this at TSC or something, and I just took all the guts out and just hold some bits for me. Um, these DeWalt, this DeWalt doesn't really do anything for me other than hold some small screwdrivers right now. I just don't like getting rid of the cases because they always come in handy eventually. Now this one, 
I've got loaded with all my small screwdrivers, and it's just a tool. It's just a container, which just always works out handy. I know that when I grab this one, I can just throw it. Um, I just throw it in, and I'm good to go. And then I got the old Porter Cable one I've had for years. I broke a long time ago. But I keep bits, tips, sockets in it. This usually goes, this does go into my larger tool bag that I usually keep in the truck when I'm using the smaller one inside because I can come, come out there and get just about anything I want. Because like in this one, in this one I even have a Forstner bit that I use a lot. The size I use the most. Um, and I have a smaller countersink, so I always keep stuff. I'm an electrician by trade, but when I'm working um, on someone doing something for somebody, I pretty much I turn into a handyman a lot of times. I'll do the electrical work, and then someone will have um, some other work they want done. So those kits are always handy, um, but like I said. This is the one I carry in every time. I always have this with me. This one sits on the bench at home here at the shop. So I have some I always have it available, something organized. And this one goes in my big tool bag that sits out in the truck. Now that I've added this craftsman, which I like, I really like this craftsman a lot. Um, I'm not exactly sure how it's gonna fit into the rotation. But I know today it's going with me because it has the masonry bits in it. And that may end up being its, its part in the rotation. Is I may end up modifying this based around the masonry bits um, and the other drill bits. So I might end up taking, some of this, taking this out, moving one of these down there, something along those lines. I'll have to work it out. And it has a one-inch um, butterfly spade, paddle bit, whatever you choose to call it in there. But I'm happy with the purchase so far. I'm impressed with the case. And I will see how it goes today at work.